Chris from uh, PowerNet has sent me this little 500 watt hour power pack and it's called the Hiker, Hiker 500 and we're going to take it on a whip it walk in the snow to see how we get on with it. It's a lovely little pack, it's not over heavy. We've got one three pin socket on there, some USBs, um, A's and, and C and the obligatory traditional cigarette socket. We'll have a look in more detail soon. It's got a little light on it as well. And uh, it's got even got a charging place on the top for your phone for through charging. We'll take this with us and the whippets up in the snow and see how we get on. Oh yes, there's also one of those power packs to give away as well. So keep tuned and at, later on in the video we'll say how we're going to do the giveaway. Slightly different this one, it's not going to come direct from me, it's actually going to come from Powerness. So stay tuned to the end of the video and find out where you can win one, but you do need to be a subscriber. Come all you young rounders, and a story I'll tell of the promise of heaven and the warning of hell. Take heed where you ramble Or too soon you will go Way up on the hillside Where the new flowers grow Well, he met in the springtime The sun sang low Two star-crossed lovers in the still melting snow Where the loving was easy And the courting was brief Where they called her a beauty They called him a thief In the quiet of the evening They'd steal fiddle would play Well the folks called it wrong But hell it seemed all right In the sun painted picture In the day turned to night Come up on the hills bring the kisses honey I'll bring the wine keep your heart guarded or too soon it'll fall when one walks back home honey only one knows it all well she walked up the hillside Heart is a hunter, always knows of its prey. And her father's old pistol hanging loose by her side. When she aimed once. Well, we're back in the cottage, and I'm pleased to report that the, the Whippets and Joe survived without any injuries. <laughs> That's one of our favourite walks, that, and uh, every time you go out it's different, but it was certainly different this time. But it proves that this little monster, this little power pack here, can actually be taken and live up to its name, the uh, Powerness Hiker 500. And uh, that walk was probably about five miles, and there was no problem carrying this that distance. So if you was to go backpacking a short distance and you was to do a lot of photography or YouTubing or filming or using a drone, you could take this with you to give you a power supply, it would work. Canoe camping, obviously it's not waterproof, so you'd have to put it in a dry bag, but you could certainly take it canoe camping with you. And it's nice little size, it's very easy to use. You can use this around the house or anywhere where you need power 
or likewise in the garden or the camper van. So if you're working off your laptop or you just want to charge your phone or charge various devices when you're out and about, it's ideal for that. I like the shape of it. If you've seen any of my reviews before, you'll know that I like everything to be on the front, which means you can store them in a cupboard. It's got the vents on the side, so you need to give some access for the fans to work. And it has through charging on the top, so you can put your phone on top of there. And if you have a phone that does that type of charge, and it'll charge from that. Does a handle have a handle? It fits on there, makes it nice and easy to carry around. And just a very nice, straightforward piece of kit. Probably one of the best of its size on the market, certainly for the price. So these are lithium iron batteries, they're not lithium phosphate. So the recharging cycle with lithium iron is slightly less than lithium phosphate. Lithium phosphate, you probably get about 3000 cycles. So you can drain it completely and charge it all the way back up and that's one cycle. This will do about a thousand cycles. But you won't be using this in the way that you would use a big power supply, where you may charge it on a regular basis for off-grid living in your camper van. This is probably going to be used for laptops and cameras, and this size power pack is just ideal for that. And if you're going camping, car camping, brilliant. If you're going away on your e-bike and you want to charge your e-bike up when you're away, another great, great use for this. Or if you've got kids and you're going camping, you can stick the iPads, even a TV into this and keep them quiet. Nice simple display, nothing complicated, tell you how much going in, how much is going out. One three pin main socket, one input there for the charging and then you have the other sockets here. And this one here is an input and output so you can actually charge it through this socket and through that USB-C socket. And a 10 amp um, cigarette socket there so if you want to run a fridge or something off it there is a slide with some of the stats on so i'll include that in the in the video and of course it has the obligatory light and it works on various sequences and does the old sos as well what you get in the box is you get a charging brick and a mains lead for that a kettle lead that fits into there which fits into the front of the unit and you get a cigarette charging cable with it as well but yeah, quite impressed and I tend to use this size of power pack quite often because I, I, I work remotely. I spend a lot of time on the computer, on my laptop and on my phone and uh, I like to get outside and work outside or be out and about and this just this size of power pack just enables you to do that nice and easy without carrying one of the real big power packs around. But like any power pack, you need to do the sums. You need to understand that this is 500 watt hours and if you want to run something bigger than that, it just won't work. And if you want to run something for 500 watt hours, it will only last an hour. So if it's 500 watts, it'll last an hour. If it's 250 watts, it'll last two hours. So that's how you work out how much the mains power will actually work for your device. Power Ness also sent me a solar panel with this as well. And it's a fold up solar panel, as you can see. Nice and easy to use. It's, uh, it's got a magnetic clip on the side and it has the pull down stands to enable it to stand up when you're using it. I would go outside but if you can hear the wind blowing through the chimney of the Eiger it's absolutely blowing the gale out there and chucking it down the rain again. That's spring in Yorkshire for you. <laughs> um, but it does have lots of connections on it. So there's a USB-C lead and then there's three other barrel connectors on there and I've checked these these will fit most solar generators as well these are the most common ones that you get but interestingly it's actually got a, an MPPT on there as well and this digital display tells you how much power is coming in and it's also got a USB socket under there as well so you could use this um, for charging up that unit charging up another unit and plug a USB into that and take power directly from the solar panel we will check this, if you've seen my videos before, I like this type of solar panel to fit in the windscreen of the camper van. So you can leave it in there on a sunny day and get some power out of it when you go out and it's safe because it's inside your camper van and it stops too much heat coming in your van as well. So we'll take it out there and check that as well. But great, great strong panel, looks well made. It's got the eyelets on as well. 
It's always good to have the eyelets on because, okay, it's got the legs to stand it up, but with the eyelets on, you can clip it on the side of your camper van or fasten it onto the top of a roof of a car or something. Not for traveling, but when you get somewhere, or you can peg it down with guy lines if it's a windy day. So yeah, another good bit of kit. I'm well impressed with uh, Powerless. I think they're a company uh, to keep an eye on. I think we're going to see more of them. And they do a range of power packs. It's not just this one. Powerness said they're going to do a giveaway of one of these and it's slightly different to my usual one because normal companies send me two of the products and we do the normal giveaway and I post it out and cover the postage. But Powerness have said they will contact the person who wins the giveaway direct and post it to them direct and they were willing to do it anywhere in the world. So if you want one of these as part of the giveaway, it's our usual process, you need to be a subscriber. So if you're not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. And um, all you have to do in the comments of this video is leave the words, I want one. And we'll randomly pick one by this closing date. I don't know what it is, but it'll be down here by now. And by that closing date, we'll randomly pick one, searching through those comments for the words, I want one. And we'll contact you through uh, messaging on YouTube, through the comments, and then we'll communicate through email. That's the only way I'll communicate with you. So if anybody else contacts you, and ask you for money or any information, it's probably just a scam. I'll only contact people in that way and we won't ask you for any money. I'll send your details on to Powerness and I have to do that and they will contact you and uh, get the unit out to you and get it posted out to you and cover all the costs. Hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you on the next one. Come all you young rounders story I'll tell of the promise of heaven and the warning of hell but take heed where you ramble or too soon you will go way up on